Hello guys, welcome back to Hitman, codename 47. There's a new mission just landed, it's called Colorado, and guess what? We're running it. Now, as usual, I'm going in completely blind, without any recon, any preparation. Just gonna see if I can nail it the first time, get a silent assassin. Now let's pick apart the mission. It's set in Colorado, USA, and it's called Freedom Good Fighters. Morning, so let's see what Diane has to say. Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and ah. suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. I hate that Hack the hacktivist. Hack the planet. Encryption. Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has Whoa. led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered oh. target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert, wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the Shadow Client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA Board of Directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. He's got no eyes. Melody Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst. And finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. She's got no hands. With you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Right, we're finally getting into the nitty-gritty of the story. So, our last contract, or was it our last contract? The contract where we killed uh, Thomas Cross, uh, or where we killed Thomas Cross's son, left Thomas Cross open for the second phase of that assassination. And we're kind of thinking, hang on a sec, well, we're, we're the major players in this game. So who's coming in and trying to take our territory? Move in on us. And this guy was spotted at the Thomas Cross uh, kidnapping slash assassination thing. So I guess we're going to go and interrogate him, or at least look around, see if there's any clues lying around. So let's move in for a closer look. The first target is a Mr. Sean Rose. He's the main activist and, and terrorist guy. Now there are four targets this time. This is a big mission. The second target is Penelope Graves. The third is Captain No Eyes, Ezra Berg. And the fourth, Maya Pavati. Now all of them can be eliminated using any method and we can wear any disguise while we do so. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh man, it's not often that 47 gets to wear that badass leather jacket. But tonight, it's one of the tactical, it's one of the tactical pieces of kit that's going to get him through. Now we can smuggle something in to the southern farm perimeter, or what do we want to smuggle in? Now we are silent assassins, so most of these are useless to us. However, a lockpick can come in handy. We've already got the fiber wire. Remote breaching charge, that makes too much noise. But a proximity explosive, that can be a classy way to kill a target from a very far, from far away. So let's select that. We probably won't go to the southern farm perimeter. Probably won't even see where this explosive is. But uh, otherwise, it's looking good. So let's take a look also at some of the challenges. Because challenges can give you some good ideas about how you can use accidental means to kill these guys. Okay, right, here we go. Name your poison. Assassinate them all with lethal poison. So that means there's definitely at least four poisons on the map. A burning fuel tank can be used for Maya. Chemical gas explosion for Penelope. You can assassinate both Sean and Maya with a ram. Okay, interesting. Assassinate Ezra Berg with a gas explosion. Silent assassin. Only kill the targets, no bodies found. Do not get spotted. If you are detected by cameras, erase or destroy the evidence. Oh man, Silent Assassin is, is a pretty amazing feat to accomplish. Ram, Maya, push Penelope Graves into a slurry pit. That's a farming thing. Whoa, what? <laughs> Assassinate Sean Rose by making him blow himself up. That sounds pretty cool. Mow down, use the lawnmower to assassinate Ezra Berg. Oh, no way, that sounds crazy. Assassinate Maya Pavati with a car lift. 
Sean rose by drowning him in the water basin. Wow, dark. Assassinate them all in accidents. That's what we're going for. Sean rose with the fiber wire. Suit only. All the targets and do it in my suit. And no evidence. Complete it with no bodies found and destroy the evidence. Chandelier was always a classic. Exploding watch. Sniper assassin. Ah, oh, I really want to do a sniper assassin mission actually. So I might come back to the missions and go through as a sniper. And silent assassin suit only, which is ultimate prestige mode. Anybody that nails silent assassin suit only. If you guys have nailed silent assassin suit only at home, I want you to tweet at me and Yogscast Jin with a picture of this achievement completed, and I will give you major props in reply because that's a, that's a serious feat, especially if it's Colorado. So we've got some ideas now. We know what what the rough kind of possibilities are in terms of accidental kills. Let's jump into the game and see what the layout is of the map. Welcome to Colorado 47. Thanks, Diana. The militia Diana. has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be apricot, training for a series of coordinated strikes ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. Guerrillas? The shadow client appears to you Does like Harambe specialists know? and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment mm. is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good so on. there's no safe zones here. We're behind enemy lines, and there are no civilians to hide in. So it's, it's, it's all action, I think. But there are still ways to get Silent Assassin and, uh, and stealth kills. Now, I feel like there's going to be a moment here where I kind of realize that actually uh, I'm the bad guy. And these guys are actually trying to change the world or something, but I don't know. Okay, so let's move out. Now, instinct mode tells me that all of my targets are miles away. Two on this side of the map, two on the other. Now, there are no friendly locations on this map for 47, but if I can nail myself a disguise from one of the guards, I can probably get to a few more places. It's just going to be a case of, I think, dodging the guards. Okay, can we stop, drop, and roll over here? Yes, we can. Easy. Oh, God, there's a guy over there. Now, he does not get alerted. Oh, he does get alerted by me. But there's no one near him. So we're going to sneak up and whack him. Oh, no, we're not. There's his friend. What did you call me? Did he just call me? A Hang on a sec. This could get bad. This is where we remember that the game is hard. But luckily this guy is totally clueless. Ooh, close one. All right. Okay, now that guy runs all the way back up the road. No, he doesn't. What's he doing? Sounds like they're testing explosives over there. So we need a disguise, and we're going to take this guy as soon as his friend Old Captain Sunglasses walks back up the road. Make it count, make it quick. Okay. Beats drag, and now let's get him the hell out of here. Before his buddy turns around and sees what's up with this guy. Now where are we going to hide him, actually? No, oh, he's coming back, he's coming back! But if we bring this guy all the way back to the start, we can grab his disguise. And everything's golden. Alright, tactical gear is back at the start. And now I'm wearing terrorist uniform. So I should be clean to just walk straight through the front door. Life just got a whole bunch easier for Agent 47. Greetings, sir. Sir? Wow, I stole an officer's... Let's keep this place officer's tight. uniform. You don't want to be the suck of the compromise of the operation, do you? But you just were. Congratulations, you just played yourself. Okay. Let's take a look around. So these white bits over there are places to hide bodies. Simple. That's a cross. That guy will recognize me. Can I pretend to be a scarecrow and hide? Is that what that's for? Either way, I better remain vigilant because not all of these guards are going to be fooled by my disguise. So there must be different tiers of terrorists at this camp. Now remember, the most important thing about Hitman is opportunities. 
So I need to keep my eyes and ears open for people having conversations that I can eavesdrop on to get ideas about how to assassinate my targets. This is the shooting range. So what's this I hear and about what is that? that would we do not accept sure. any sure. trespasses. Point Violators will be shot and survivors uh, will be shot split again. Split by a ram or something? You were lucky. We could have shot you, you know. To simulate the that is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin well, turned pirate turned insurgent. Oh, there she is. Accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Bruce Whoa. just taught us how. <laughs> I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? It'll make... It'll make her day. So, these are the opportunities that have revealed themselves so far. We've got Doomsday Watch. Overpowered. Point man, here we go. So there's been a training accident. Well, misery loves company. A battering ram has injured one of the strike team. Point man by the name of Burgess. And according to the militiaman, Pavati likes to see oversee training. Infiltrate the strike team and relieve the point man of his duties and kill Pavati with the battering ram. Okay, let's do it. You need a special clearance, even if you're with the security detail, sorry. Oh, you what, mate? But what about my English accent? I'm blatantly with you guys. Security detail. So, how am I going to get one of these badasses uniforms? It has to be one of the guys with what? Like, masks and stuff? Doesn't say who's who. Doesn't even say where I should really be. What's this target icon on the map? Oh! It's a target. Who is it, though? Oh, it's Captain No-Eyes. So what's his deal? There's a fuse box. Wait, this guy? This guy looks like he's wearing a Tech Ops uniform. Shall I get him? Let's try it. I'm going to save first, just in case, because it's a risky one. Yeah, all right. That it looks like is Ezra Berg, former no one saw that. interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. In you go, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha! Sleep tight. And suddenly, Agent 47 got a badass upgrade. Look at me. Tech Ops. I'm wearing my plate chest carrier. Um, got my knee pads on. Got my thigh pouches. And, of course, I've got my badass black beret. But it looks like somebody forgot to take the, uh, the shopping tag off the back. But that's okay, because I've still got the barcode on my head, too. Now, is this a bad enough uniform? A badass right, enough uniform you need to get for me the to right get? Clearance. Can't let you through. Oh, what? I still don't have clearance over here. Oh, okay, I can find I can find a better disguise, I'm sure. So we need to get a disguise for one of these guys that's shooting stuff. What are they trying to shoot? What the hell? Maybe we can actually sneak behind the shooting range because there's no one. No one's crazy enough to go back here. All right, let's do it. Why not? So what's this? Hide as a scarecrow. I guess I need a scarecrow outfit to do that, though. Which uh, I unfortunately don't have. Okay, eyes peeled. Now, I don't think you can hide people in these barrels. You gotta be kidding. But we can puncture these? Oh, right, yeah, for explosion. So, it looks like that's the battering ram. Is it? Yeah, it must be. Oh, right, yeah, and she walks straight past it. Okay, let's go upstairs. Wait a minute. It's okay, you didn't see anything, friend. Oh, a bird's eye view from up here, and some disguises that we could pinch. All right, let's go again. On your marks, ready, set, execute. Oh my god, so we kill her with that? Wow. So these guys are planning to... Oh my god, that's a big limo. Maybe a presidential one. Maybe these guys are planning to take out the prez. Okay. What do we do here? Rose? No, nasty little prick if you ask me. Sure, it's not his fault that he grew up in that crazy collective farm out in the outback, what were they called? Sons of Solidarity. 
though. They're a bunch of left-wing cultists. But still, some of that stuff he's done makes my skin crawl. The oil rig, I get. But that government office in Auckland? Man, kids died. Boss seems to trust him. Yeah, of course he does. Rose is the perfect acolyte. I mean, he's smart. He's ruthless. But like all fanatics, he's impressionable. <sighs> These guys really hate Rose. No. Nah, no, nah, I've met his kind before. Rose yearns for a cause, sure. But any cause will do. Because deep down, the only thing he's really looking for is justification to blow people up. Yeah, well, I guess this time we found one. Don't get what did they wrong. find? Sean Rose was born for this. The enemy doesn't expect it. Their cruelty, it's too, uh, it's too remote. You know, you sign a document, thousands of people die half a world away. It's unreal, like drone operators. But Rose and the boss, the enemy doesn't know how to react. The savagery, that's how we'll win. Rose yeah, and the boss. More like bring an axe to a chess game. Been to a few of those chess games, man. Flashbacks to chess club. There we go, subdued. Now come on. Come on, come on. Yes! Two for one. Right, so it's time to get the military spe- Ooh. Very naked. It's time to get- Oh yeah, look at this. All dressed up in tactical gear. Now I'm gonna drag this guy. And put him over here at harm's way. Nice and safe inside this crate. Oh. And I don't want him to be lonely, so let's drag his buddy in there too. Easy peasy. Man, look at these guys diet. Soda, beer, All right, chips. Let's go again. On your marks. These guys are real athletes. Set. Is that those cigarettes? Execute. Now what else is up here that I can mess around with? There's a branding iron. Sure, why not? This is a winch that releases the hay bale that ices somebody outside. What's this on the shelf? Oh, rat poison. Excellent. Autobots, roll out. So it looks like her conventional patrol does not take her in front of the battering ram. But luckily enough for us, we've got some rat poison. Put a little zing inside her water bowl. Easy does it. Nobody can see me. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally cool. Nothing to see here. Okay, so we're about to end our first target, which is Maya Pavati. We've poisoned her water bottle. It's down there on the table. Put rat poison in there. And she doesn't like rat poison. Not many people do. So what we're going to do is we're going to nail her with the hay bale when she walks outside in front of those two guards. So brace yourselves for the first kill of the mission. Here she goes. Swig, swig, swig. Oh, you're going to regret this. Shouldn't have had that curry last night, should you? No, certainly not. Man, this is a big mission. Four targets. Oh, shit. Oh. Here she comes. Local cuisine working out for you. Oh, yeah. Here it comes right now. We're going to have to land it when she's between those two guards. This is going to take some careful timing. My Got it! Is down. Good work. One down, three to go. Alright, it's time to move. We've got three more targets to go and no time to waste. Penelope Graves is still new to this ah. outfit. And it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might right. I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? Yeah, let's do it! So we're gonna bring her to the slurry pit and push her in? Sounds good to me. Sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? Now, if you want to get a slick, quick, accidental kill run-through, following opportunities like this is definitely the best way to do it. But it's not always the easiest. I think we could have done the battering ram thing if we'd followed accurately icons on the map like this. Makes things super easy. So definitely for your first run-through, 
following opportunities like this is a great way to get a good start score. Going guns akimbo does not get you as many points as possible. That is Penelope Graves, a claimed anti-terror analyst. Strange oh, yeah. to see her as part of this crowd. Is he taking us to the slow pit already? No, surely not. We have to. We have to. We have to steal his badge. Okay. We need to find a time when he's on his own. It's not now. That guy's there. Let's just watch his patrol. Leave her alone. Has he already approached her? No, he can't have. What's in, what's what's this? Is it an apple? An apricot. Oh, delicious. Steal the Interpol badge. Now we have to subdue this guy to get the badge. But this guy is can kind of see him when we come over here. So what we might have to do is wipe out this guy and hide him over by the apricots. Does that sound good? No, that guy could see that happening. So where are we going to find this guy on his own? This is a tough mission. Wait, hang on a sec. There's no one even looking at him when he's over here. Here's a scarecrow disguise. Nice. Could hide a proximity mine in the bin. Where's he going now? To the satellite dish. Nothing that we can do here. That guy, could he, he couldn't see me subdue him if I did it. Oh no, but this guy's coming back. Man, there's lots of patrols here. Gonna have to be super careful about when we when we plan this attack. Pretty scary. So he's coming over here. He hangs out by this guy. He definitely see or hear a subdue. Okay, simple. We get him when he's over here by this guy. We could even whack this guy now and drag him over there. Give it a go. We take him this way. And then this way. Ooh. And we're clear. Whew. Thank God. Make sure he's well hidden. And this guy's going to come over here. And can we get this guy too? Let's look around. It's good to me. Huh. Bam. All right, now we have to steal the Interpol badge. We've got it. Man, what a mess of bodies. Oh, man. What a mess. What am I doing here? It looks, it looks like I'm trying to pose some kind of weird... weird rigged orgy. Man, imagine... Imagine waking up on the bottom of this. When these guys come around, uh, I don't know how they're going to explain it. I think it's one of those situations where... What happens in Colorado, stays in Colorado. Right, we got the Interpol badge. Did we get the Interpol badge? Did we? Already wearing a disguise, already wearing a disguise. What's this over here? Militia Spec Ops. So where's the badge? It's on the floor. He might have dropped it when we knocked him out. Is that the badge? There's the badge! Got it. Okay, next up, let's go quiz this lovely lady. I guess we can always wait for her to come out. There's the lawnmower that we have to kill her with somehow. Man, that must be a tough kill. Okay, she's coming this way. We'll just uh, approach her and say, Excuse me, ma'am. Interpol here. What up? I wonder if she flips, or I wonder if she, uh, if she stays loyal. Luckily, her bodyguards aren't suspicious at all. Hello, ma'am. Penelope Graves, we need to talk. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. <laughs> wow, so she'll see us at the slurry pit. And it's all the way over there. Right, so we were going to waste... 
Pavati at the slurry pit, but things went south and uh, we dropped a hay bale on her instead. What we're going to do this time is... Where is she? She's over there. We're going to pick up the pace a bit. Are we allowed to be around here? Hi, recruit. Yeah, that's unfortunately not going to work. I can't let you through here. Bye-bye. Okay, we're going to change back to our other disguise, get around by the slurry pit, and set up the scene for wiping her out. We're going to have to take out some of the guards around there, but it should be fine. Uh-oh. A weapon? What idiot just drops a weapon? Oh, could be bad. They haven't seen the bodies yet, though. Uh-oh. Man, yeah, close call. Whew. What in No. Oh. We've got places to be. Give me a break. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. It looks like there are no guards around here. The coast is 100% clear. Ah, I see. So we meet her over here near the slurry pit. And then we can give her the old one too inside the shed. And that is not something that she wants. I think she's coming this way. Uh, I know what you mean, but we can dump more in there than you think. That pit is deep. Don't want to have to dig another hole, that's for sure. Yeah, Here she comes. Point, but yeah. Oh, now there is actually a guard over there. This could get tricky. Will she know it's me in this uniform? She's just going to be like, wow, you changed clothes quick. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know. Here we go. Oh, man, the guard's coming, though. Hope he doesn't hear this go down. Because he might do. Here we go. Let's see what she says. So we could actually flip you her now. You recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you, anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Yeah. Think about this carefully. You can provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Where's that? Is that guard coming with Good her? Oh, I guess she's got bodyguards. This should give her something to think about. Right, so she's going to go over by the slurry pit and have a think. Thinky, thinky. So when do we get to push her? Okay. Can anybody see us? Think There's Grace. a guy over there. Let's save the game, because this could go horribly wrong for us. Flight time to fly and under assumed name. Okay, it Pass looks like the coast is clear. Fly. Push! Graves is dead. Woo! Excellent work. A melee kill. Challenge complete. The analyst. Okay, two of four. It's time to pick up the pace and waste these final three. Okay, that's two out of four in the bag. It's time to pick up the pace and see if we can waste the last two people. So we don't get any more nosy neighbors this week. I don't know if I agree. We don't want too much. Now, the most important thing is being unnoticed. We want to have no alarm trips. Accidental kills are a plus and a bonus. They're going to be super hard to pull off. Unless we get very creative. Now, this guy likes to hang out in here. Is there a way... Missing a key. I appreciate your enthusiasm. This guy doesn't have the key. Can I climb so in the window? Maybe there's something wrong with the delivery system. That'll probably look very weird. Right, so we're going to pull the fuse box. We're going to sneak inside there. While the other guy's coming outside. And we're going to waste target number three. Watch. And... In we go. And now that guy is gonna 
Oh god, what's he gonna do? He's gonna pick up the weapon. Let's hide in here. Now he's gonna take the weapon into the hack. Oh god, Jason's just there! He has to leave that table. As soon as he leaves the table, we can whack him. Oh god, <laughs> save the mission. Why not? Okay, now's our chance. Easy come, easy go! Wait, I want to use the razor wire. Oh yeah, the fiber wire. Let's do it. Garrot! Ezra Berg has been eliminated. We got him! And now, can we hide him in here? Yes! The interrogator. Just got interrogated. Piano man, sweet. Oh, what's this on the floor? Goodies. Lethal poison. Basement key and a garage key. Wow, this guy had every single key in existence. So we have every single piece of equipment we need now to get inside. We've got keys, all kinds of things. We're holding deadly poison as well. Which is probably the best way to take out this final guy. Hey there, but bro. No, I can't let you through here right now. We can't get in. Now, though, I did leave an elite soldier uniform. Wait, hang on a sec. This guy's in here. I could just climb through and whack him. Yeah. Nicely done. Militia elite. And I honestly think we can probably leave his um, his corpse in here. Well, no, I mean, let's, let's put him in here with his friend. There you go. Oh, man, he's going to wake up next to a corpse. A garroted corpse. That's not a way I want to wake up. Now, is this going to get us inside the base? Anyone want me to find out? Let's check the front door. What up, hombre? You going to let me in? Hi there, grunt. Yeah? Are we good to go? Yes! Here we go. Now it's time to take in our surroundings. This is the last target. Mr. Rose. Let's just survey the house. Now most of the people know that we're not supposed to be here. So we've got to be super careful. Missing hallucinogenic drugs. We do have some deadly drugs, but no hallucinogens. There is the garden heater over there. A drill sergeant. A water bottle. I'm not sure who uses the water bottle, though. Again, we should watch the target's patrol. See what he does. Let's head inside the garden shed. Is there anything in here that we can do? Nothing. There is a place to hide bodies, though, behind. And what's this? A radio. We could turn on the radio and a guy will come in. And, uh, and we can whack him. And that'll get us close to the water bottle, which we can then poison. And fingers crossed, Rose will come down and use it. Oh, hello. What is this guy doing? He's just standing there. Like a weird creep. Watching people do press-ups. Man, he spends a lot of time upstairs. Um, there shouldn't be too many guards that know I'm not supposed to be there, though. Let's see if we can get into the house without upsetting or ruffling too many feathers. Uh, again, there's nobody outside now that doesn't think I'm supposed to be here. What's that? Is that a transistor radio as well? Salute, yeah, it is. No. Ain't saluting nothing. Now, is it going to look weird if I scale this and climb inside? No, apparently not. So this is the bathroom. Not much to do in here. Let's have another explore of the house. This is the washroom. What's that down there? Rat poison. Might come in handy. Okay, moving on. We have the kitchen. Now, obviously, uh, location, location, location. But if we're going to use our poison, we need to be able... We need to know that we're not going to be seen. 
Overflow the sink. Yeah, poison the coffee glass. That might not work. Because these guys are both looking at me. There's a key up here, though. Where's this go to? The garage key? Sure. Now there's a basement, apparently. So we could go and try and find that. What's outside here? Oh, nobody in here knows who I am. Good, good, good. It's a 3D printer. It prints things in wait for it. Three dimensions. Wow, a 3D printer? No way. Now there's some uniforms in here. Already wearing the same disguise. Some guns. Places to hide. What is this? Military radio. It's a distraction. So what's that? So I hear Rose had his own face. That's a ranged weapon. TV, which is again a distraction, but gets us noticed. Now where is Rose? He's upstairs, still. Let's take a look through this door. Hallway looks secure. Nobody around, nobody can spot us. Let's try the file room, I think. Oh, what's this? I don't think we're supposed to be in here. It's the server room. What are they doing in here? Oh, a vacuum cleaner. And a shotgun. But next door, there's a man that knows I'm definitely not supposed to be here. Ezra Berg has a way with people. Oh, destroy the evidence, right. So what I could do is turn off the server. When this guy comes to check it out, I can wax him. Then I can destroy the evidence. Beep, bop, boop. Agent 47, Hacker Elite. Okay, what's this guy doing now? He's coming around for a look-see at the server. His friend, though, nowhere to be seen. It's happening again and again today. Bam, subdued, son. Excellent, no one alone. Now I can disguise as the hacker. Oh, oh yeah! Now where's this gonna get me? Looks like it's gonna get me everywhere. Area being investigated. Why? Does that guy know I'm not a hacker? No, now he's trying to turn the server on. Excellent. Okay. You are the man. Back up and run it. Now he's gonna leave. I can wax this guy over here. And then I can take out the evidence. I can also hide him in that wardrobe too. Oh, man. In you go. Night night, my friend. Enjoy your sleep. Right. So with nobody looking, it's time to destroy the Oh no no, wait, 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 no, no, someone is looking. Ooh, close what one. I don't know, mate. There's someone just left a gun on the floor. Don't look at me. He's gone. He doesn't care. He just wants to walk away. Good. Just the way I like it, too. Evidence deleted. Now it's time to go upstairs and finish the... Wait, wait, what? Why is he all the way over there? You know, we could have wasted him with the hay bale outside the barn, but we're going to do it in style. Let's go upstairs, see what's up. Oh, man, we're almost there, man. This has been the longest mission yet. With four targets, it was never going to be a quick one. So what's inside? Ah, the upstairs bathroom. Now, this is where Mr. Rose is going to come. The valve, I guess, gets somebody to come in here to check it out. What? What is through this door, though? Okay. Looks safe to me. It's his bedroom. Oh, look at this place. This is like a deluxe mansion. There is an explosive watch battery. Factory recall. Don't mind if I do. Nitroglycerin. I better be careful with this. So what else is over here on the desk? Is that a pen? Tamper with Sean Rose's desk. What does that mean? Oh my God. Oh my god, he's going to be so tilted. Checkmate, fool. There he is, downstairs. Okay. So again, let's keep our eyes on him, see what he does. 
plot a course, a course to kill. There's a key. Rose's room key. Let's talk Rose, to him. Rose, Graves took the bait. She's at the slurry pit, thinking it over now. Nice! He did. Any sign of her turning on us? Unclear, sir. Interesting. I'll tell you what, ah, I join did. me there. I'll get to the bottom of this right now. Wait, what? Join him where? At the slurry pit? Are we gonna push him in too? Okay, sure, why not? It's one way to deal with him. What is that on his wrist? We can do something with his watch. Explosive watch battery. We have an explosive watch battery. What do the opportunities say? Sean Rose suffers from OCD and obsesses about order and cleanliness. According to his men, disrupting the layout of his desk, turning off the water into his faucet, and offsetting the grandfather cock will have all been known to trigger an OCD response. Does that mean we could have killed him by just messing with his desk? Wow. I thought I thought, we just, I thought that was just a joke. During a training run in the barn, the point man of the militia strike team was clipped by a battering ram. He's currently recovering at the orchard warehouse. I see. What other opportunities have we missed? Target already eliminated for tongue-tied. And unclean. And we do that over here, apparently. Okay. Either way, it looks like we're going to go meet this guy over by the slurry pit. And we can push him in. Now, oh, this could be bad because I, I think the guards won't let me in there because I'm not wearing a Tac Ops uniform. But maybe we can swing it because we're with the big man himself. Man, there's so many ways to kill people. It's quite a small map, quite an intimate map. But everything's connected quite well. How are you today, sir? So is he going to let us through? Are we going to be okay? No guards around. It's the perfect crime. Could garrot this guy. What's that guy? That guy's peeing against the wall. Okay, looks good. So how do we do this then? Do we talk to him? Yeah, what's he doing? Tapping his watch. Checking his watch. Put something in his pocket. Oh, he's washing his hands. Oh, he really is OCD. Now, we could subdue him. We could garrot him. That guy's looking, though, so he's going to see whatever happens. Did he want to talk? About what happened? We're here. There's not much we can do, though, until people leave us alone. We're far enough away from everybody. Okay, I can probably garrot him while he's over there. Lethal poison, rat poison, detectable during frisk, visibly armed. Same with the branding iron, fiber wire. We got him. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. Now let's just hide him over here. Get the hell out of Dodge. This could be bad. Huh? Body found. Uh oh. Command, you advise let's, me of a casualty. Let's be they nowhere near it caution. when it's found. Unnoticed kill. Whew! Wow, this has been a hell of a long mission, guys, but I feel like we really did dissect it completely. We got to the bottom of this whole place. We've been pretty much visited everywhere. Looked at all of the opportunities. So if you guys at home want to challenge this mission in any way possible. You're pretty well armed to do so right now. Tornado shelter's over here. And we've got a disguise that gets us pretty much everywhere on the compound. So I've been Stjin, and thank you for watching this episode of Hitman. This has been the, uh, the Colorado mission, set in USA. And join me next time for the next mission release. Also, make sure you hit like and subscribe if you want to see some of the elusive targets taken out because I've only done so far excuse me baking powder because I've only done so far the main missions but if you want to see me take out the elusive target that is something I could definitely do
Forty Off we go. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric no! lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. His face! God damn it! Wait, there's something up in his room. Why do I need his face? That's so weird. I've got the key. Let's put the fiber wire away. Might look a bit suspicious. That hacker knows I'm not supposed to be here. But screw him, because in that little red box, something that's apparently as good as his, as his face. Okay. So what is this? Start the 3D printer. Oh, we're gonna 3D print his face! Who are you, man? Oh, do I'm I just... know you? No, you don't know me. That's enough! What? What? No. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. It's fine. Uh-oh. So, we're 3D printing. And it's just that guy that knows we're not supposed to be there. So as soon as he moves away, you can grab the 3D printed face hey, hey. and get the hell out of Dodge. Right, so let's just open the 3D printer straight away. Hey there. What's up? Whew, okay, I've got his face! Man, part of me almost wants to kind of go and actually get his face from his body. But maybe, maybe I'll save that for the next playthrough. Now, like I said, if you want to see me do the elusive target, make sure you say so in the comments section. Tweet me saying you want to see the elusive target taken out. Or, uh, mention a comment in the YouTube section. And I'll see you next time, guys, for the next mission of Hitman, codename 47. But until then, we're getting the hell out of Dodge. Whoa, what's this? Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Holy crap sticks. I'm looking around. What am I looking for, though? There's nothing I can use. The computer? No signal detected. What exactly am I looking for? Oh. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas that's Richard Thomas. Branson! Oh, no, I mean, the other guy. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Oh. oh well. There's a name. Providence. What? It's all coming together yeah. now. No, just looks so be. wrong with him in a hacker disguise. Thought they were a myth. A <gasps> hypothesis, nothing. Some more. Illuminati the shit going idea down that here. A small cabal of kingmakers controlling enough corporate and political leaders could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So does. But that would mean. So does. Providence has infiltrated ICA. <gasps> and Eric Sodas is their operative bastard. Let's Who get him. Fits? He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This oh, changes no. everything. But he knows we're here. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Clan? It's a trap. He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Damn it! Oh man, so the story is really unfolding now. I didn't know where it was going, but now it definitely has direction. And lucky for us, the exit's right here. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. 
They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. Oh. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your it's gift dark. and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. Is he gonna shoot? You know him. Is that my brother? Better than anyone. No way! Oh my god! He's Agent 47's brother! Oh, or his friend at least. That's crazy. Holy crap. Oh man. This is really heating up now. I can't wait to see what the next mission is. Until next time guys, take care. And I'll see you for some more Hitman, Coding 47.